Hi, I'm Elaine, the Healthy Cooking Lady. Today I'm going to show you how to make a low-fat buttermilk ranch dressing. Actually, this recipe is, I found it on Skinny Taste. Thanks to Mel, a co-worker of mine, she suggested looking at that site because it has some really good recipes and it really does. So um, my husband and I like ranch dressing and we started using the light stuff because, you know, reduced fat and all that stuff and reduced calories. But I looked online thinking, you know, there's got to be a recipe out there that doesn't have all the, all the preservatives and the chemicals in it and that has even a lower sodium content that would, than what was in the bottle dressing because it's really kind of high in sodium. So anyway, I looked online and there, sure enough, on Skinny Taste, there's this wonderful buttermilk ranch dressing and it really is good enough that you don't notice that it has hardly any fat in it at all. It is actually from Gina's Weight Watcher recipes. And for this, you are going to need three quarters of a cup of fat-free sour cream. I'm just gonna kinda blop this into the bowl. What I really like about this is that a serving size is a quarter cup. And it's twice as big as the serving size of the bottle dressing and that it has so fewer calories and a lot less sodium. It's really very good. And three quarters of a cup of uh, Greek yogurt, of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I think that's where you get a little bit of the tang that, uh, the, that, that little taste you get from the sour, from the blue cheese dressing. A third of a cup of light mayonnaise. This happens to be um, Hellman's. That's what we have at our local market. And actually, you're supposed to use fresh chives and parsley. However, I haven't used that in this dressing because usually, quite honestly, I, I see the chives and I see the parsley and that kind of thing in the store and I go, oh, that's really good. Yeah, fresh, fresh, fresh. And then a month later, I find it the ugly, nasty little black sodden mess in my fridge. So I just said, what, you know, what the heck, I'm just going to go ahead and use the dried stuff. It tastes okay. So this is a combination of a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Don't use garlic salt or onion salt because that's going to increase the sodium. And this is the equivalent of a tablespoon of fresh chives, which is a teaspoon and a half of the kind that I got that are dried and also a tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley, which this is a teaspoon of the dried parsley. Um, the recipe that is going to be on my site uh, includes the fresh, but go ahead. I have found that the dried stuff is absolutely fine. So I'm gonna put that in there and then mix it up. I happen to use a little whisk. I don't know that it makes any difference. But this is such a cute little thing. Isn't that cute? Little whisk. So, mix that up. And then, you are going to put in some freshly ground black pepper, however much is however much you like black pepper. So I kind of like the taste of it. I'm probably putting in, it looks like, I don't know, maybe a quarter teaspoon. And I'm gonna mix that in. You can see all the little black flecks. Cool. And then you're going to slowly mix in two tablespoons of white balsamic vinegar. Until I saw this recipe, I never knew there was such a thing as white balsamic vinegar because the only stuff I've ever seen has always been the dark stuff. So anyway, we're going to mix this in. Looking good. And finally, one cup of 1% low-fat cultured buttermilk. It really does make a difference. So we're going to mix this in. And there we go. Our nice low-fat buttermilk dressing. I'm just going to put a little bit of stir here with a spoon. So you might want to start with a spoon right off the bat. 
The whisk might not have been such a great idea. So anyway, here we go. And you can see that it has the nice little flecks that normally are in the ranch dressing, that you, and it's nice, and, and you can see it's, it's thick, and it is really very tasty. We're going to use this later in another recipe I'm going to show you. But it, I, I just wanted to tell you that there are only like 52 calories in a quarter cup of this. That is really cool. And only two grams of fat. Yes, it's low fat, and you can find low fat in the bottle dressings, but the calories in this is so wonderful. And the sodium is only 120 milligrams. That is way less than what you get in the bottle dressings. It won't keep for five or six months in your fridge the way the bottled stuff might with all the preservatives. So you have to use it up relatively fast, maybe in a couple weeks or so. But it is delicious, and you want to have it on many of your salads so you won't have any problem with having too much left over. Also, you can half the recipe. I've done that before, too. So anyway, that's, my, that's the recipe from Skinny Taste, Gina's Weight Watcher Recipes. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Healthy Cooking Elaine, and like this video. Until later, here's to healthy cooking.